Japan can be a confusing place for the outsider. So here at Rugby Zone, we've tapped our resources to bring you regular stories from one of rugby's best investigative reporters. In this, his first dispatch for the season, we're up close and personal with some men in nappies. Konnichiwa New Zealand, my name's Khan Heska, Rugby Zone's Japanese correspondent, bringing you the inside view of life in rugby in Japan. So this is me. I play on the wing for Sonics Blues, one of 14 teams in Japan's National Top League. Each team typically carries six foreign passport holders, with only two being allowed to play at any given time. All teams are owned by mega bazillionaire companies, Canon, Toshiba, and Panasonic Bill Williams. The competition includes 13 round robin matches, followed by final footing. So today, we're going to take a look at one of the local festivals. With a two ton shrine and some karate looking dudes. I'm here with my fellow teammate, Akira Natomi. What's today all about, big fella? It's about a good harvest. We do it once a year, every summertime. And what's the, what's the go behind the traditional... Um, You've got to talk to me. Uh, we'll start again. I'm here with my fellow team. No, not that part, the next part. OK. And what's the deal behind the traditional kit? That nappy goes fundoshi. <laughs> <laughs> that traditional clothes called uh, fundoshi. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal behind the traditional Japanese costume everyone's wearing today? It has been known for generations that a grown man rocking commando in public truly is a free man. Thanks for your help, mate. Hey, over here. Cheers. <laughs> so basically, we come here every year at the start of summer, carrying the shrine around the main streets for good luck in the harvesting season. It's a very captivating spectacle where the whole community comes out to support. Kids get the day off school, guys drive around on the back of trucks dishing out cold tea, overheating shrine carriers get drenched with water, and if you stick around till the end of the event, you'll meet some of the happiest people alive. So there you go New Zealand, a wee taste of life in Japan for you, and Sumo, I was thinking maybe next time we could get you carrying the shrine, wearing some Karate undies. Got him on right now, big boy behind this desk. Ken Laban's got an eyeful all show long. Yes. Well, we could focus on the Kiwis all day. Thanks, Khan. Uh, Carla Hohepa, former Blackfern, on the camera in that story too. Thanks to Carla. Thanks to you for putting up with Khan.